to the channel I hope you're having a good week um, so I've already started what I'm going to tell you about so we got this from TK Maxx and as you can see one of these pumpkins is missing so I'm going to make another pumpkin and I'm going to tweak the rest so I'll show you what I'm doing put the cap there so I'm trying to do a replica get the strip out of the way try to do a replica of this pumpkin and I thought what I'm going to do is make it out of clay because I was going to use polymer clay but I don't think the finish will match that finish so I'm going to try it out of clay and if that doesn't work I'll just try it out of something else but I've also got some ideas of what else I want to do to this so stick with me and we'll see how we get on right so that's what I've done what I'm going to do now is just leave that to dry and we'll check it in the next day or two whenever I can get round to it and then we'll try and paint it to match obviously it's not going to be an exact replica but hey it's worth a shot and then we're going to tweak some bits on this because it, we absolutely love vintage Halloween so yeah let's see how it goes so here we are a few days later and I've done I've made another pumpkin to match that one uh, the thing with clay is when you've used clay it does tend to shrink so it is a little bit smaller but I'm not bothered just put it that way I'm not bothered so I'm going to paint it attach it and then I have got some ideas here of what I'm going to do so I'm just going to crack on with this watch the new film which is 47 meters down I've seen it before liked it so I thought let's watch that got the old pumpkin lights on we just need the telly on, the telly on, and I'll get working on the cats. We're not watching Stepton Son. Watch that. So let's see what we can do. And one more thing, I've just noticed a massive crack there. So we'll have to see if we can do something with that as well. Oh God.
So I'm just painting the little pumpkin up. Um, I've done more, so I've just got to touch his little tooth up. And I'm also touching these up as well. So I'm adding some a bit more detail to these. So this one I haven't touched yet. This one I have. I don't know if you can tell so well because of the light. Maybe if I turn that off. Can you see it a bit better? So I'm just adding a bit more detail. And then we'll uh, hang him on. But I do have some more things I want to do. So we'll see how it goes. It's the finished product. I'm not going to play with it anymore because I like it just as it is. And yeah, I'm impressed with how it's turned out. 
so I made a spare pumpkin because if you remember one was missing I've given them like little Halloween masks like the trick-or-treating uh, I've changed the colour to one of the hats it is supposed to be like you know uh, like vintage Halloween is what I love so I didn't want to mess with these too much because they're supposed to be like pastel colours and I just didn't think the blue fit in with Halloween so then after I'd done that I changed the way they're holding the baskets the little pumpkins and then I filled the little pumpkins with sweeties and if you can see I went for um, like retro wrappers oh, something's just fallen good oh yeah so I went with retro wrappers and candy corn because what if I put modern sweet wrappers in I don't think it had kept like the vintage style because I also let's just there we go. I also wanted vintage masks as well I didn't want anything modern that is a I don't think that one is too vintage but it's the only Frankenstein I could find because I wanted Frankenstein Dracula and the devil so I thought well it works so match that green I thought well, if you've got a green face I'll put a green hat on and the green and purple work together so there we are the finished product hope you like it like I said I got this from TK Maxx uh, a couple of weeks ago something like that and we just loved it as soon as we saw it and we got it cheaper because it was uh, pumpkin missing oh yeah also there was a crack behind there so I've sanded it down filled it painted it again so you can't actually see the crack but it doesn't matter because the mask in front of it so there we are so yeah I'm happy with that they look like they're all having fun trick-or-treating yeah so on that note I will say thank you for watching Thank you for all your support by your subscribing, liking the videos, comments, anything like that. We really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And we will see you in the next vlog. So take care out there. Bye.